Snowflake supports four different options for loading data. For loading limited amounts, you can use the web interface. For bulk loading, you can use SQL commands in SnowSQL and auto-ingest using Snowpipe or use third-party tools to bulk load data from external sources. This video will focus on loading CSV files using Snowflake's SnowSQL, Snowflake's client tool that allows you to connect to Snowflake from your local machine. Loading data into Snowflake involves three simple steps. We grab the files we want to load into Snowflake. We stage those files into cloud storage. And lastly, we load those staged files into Snowflake's tables. Before we can stage our files into cloud storage, they must first be in a file format Snowflake recognizes. We then execute the put command from SnowSQL to stage our files into cloud storage. During this process, our files will be copied, encrypted, and compressed into a .gz extension before being staged. A stage is very important in Snowflake. It is the name of the location or the cloud file repository that holds our data before being loaded into Snowflake's tables. Stages can either be internal or external. If the files you want to store in Snowflake are stored locally, we'll use the internal stage. The internal stage will reside within Snowflake's cloud storage layer and is managed by Snowflake. There are three types of internal stages, a user stage, a table stage, and a named stage. The user stage, referenced using the at plus tilde, is provided to every user by default for storing files. It can only be accessed by the user and cannot be altered or dropped. If the files you want to upload are stored in one of the cloud storage platforms supported by Snowflake, such as Amazon S3, Google Cloud, and Azure Blob Storage, we use the external stage. The external stage resides outside of Snowflake and will instead store the URL and access credentials needed to retrieve and load your files into Snowflake. Please note, currently in public preview, Snowflake will support on-premise data in place storage. Customers will be able to use Snowflake to access data from any storage device or software that exposes a highly compliant S3 API. Once files are staged, they are now accessible to Snowflake. But before loading our staged files, we can describe to Snowflake how they are formatted so it can read and properly load the files. We do this using a file format. Using SQL, we write the syntax create file format give our file format a name, specify the type, and if no type has been specified, the default will be CSV. We can then add file type modifiers, such as setting the field delimiter to the pipe character, the character used to separate records in your data, and set the skip header equal to two, which will ignore the first two header lines of each file being loaded. Now that we have our files staged and created our file format, we can now load our staged data into Snowflake's tables using the copy into command. Please note we will need a virtual warehouse running to execute the loading process. Let's take a look at a simple example. We have the syntax copy into. We add the table name where the data will be loaded, add from, and then the name of the stage where the data is coming from. Here we list the name of the files that will be loaded and include our newly created file format. Once complete, execute the copy into command and all of your stage data will be loaded into Snowflake's tables.